Timothy Chalamet. Timothy. Timothy. I almost Timothy. have a lisp on that one. Timothy. Timmy Trumpet. Timmy. I'm going to call him Timmy. Timmy. Timmy and Kylie Jenner are giving us a lot to talk about. Oh, <laughs> no. Why would you do that? Did you? Was that like the headline of? Some, yeah. It was. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know if you I made I can't take credit for I that. I didn't know if you made But that you one. know I could. I'm corny like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. So they've been spotted having a little secret taco date. Rendezvous. <laughs> And here's the weird part. In their car. Yeah. Whose car was it? Does it matter? It was in a car. I think it was her car and his car car was behind. Okay, that's even more weird. So I think they probably didn't want to be spotted together or something like that. So there have been rumors that have been swirling around. I know Dumas posted a few times saying that Kylie Jenner and Timmy have been like hanging out on a more casual basis lately. They said they've been hanging out and getting to know each other, whatever that means. Um... So I guess they were last spotted. Um, Timothy was at an art show last Friday in Santa Monica. He was like waiting up front for a ride. And then um, like Kylie's car pulled up and there was security guards in the front seat. And then I guess he like jumped in the back of her car while one Hmm. of the security guards drove like his Escalade behind them. So like this, I'll paint the scene. So like it's, he gets into like, um, he gets out of a show he hops in the back seat of Kylie Jenner's car. Her security guards are driving, and then his car is right behind them, and his security following. guards are driving, like following the car. So many security guards, so little time. Um, <laughs> and then I guess um, he jumped in the back. Uh, they ended up next door at like a like it's called like Tito's Tacos or something. Wow, which I guess Tito's is like an LA, taco? It's, an, it's an LA staple, and. Um, they like her team went out and brought food to the back seat of the car where they were sitting. How romantic. And I guess they like were sitting eating the tacos for 30 minutes before they drove away. That's and no one actually date. saw Kylie, but everyone's like, yeah, wait, did he there. get out of the car when they drove away after 30 minutes? Was he still in the car or like, did he I get out? Like, I don't know. Was it like genuinely they got in, got tacos and then he left and they went their separate ways. I'm he just dined and dashed. The more I learn about celebrities, I think the more that I feel sad for them because <laughs> is this like, is this their idea of a first date? Like I would think that it's Kylie Jenner. You would think maybe you rent out, you know, an entire uh, restaurant, you rent out Nobu, like no one is there. You're having everyone sign an NDA. You're taking her there. The whole place is covered in roses and you're treating her to a very nice. Okay. Meal. I'm like, sorry. I didn't, Kylie does not deserve that. <laughs> But that's how you, tr- like, that's, it's Kylie though. Like, that's what you do when you're an annoying celebrity. I didn't picture, like, back seat of a car, like, fishing fries out the bag. Wait, I kind of love that like, for her bag. though. Yeah. If like, Kylie can be chill like that. That's and true. And be cool with a, with a back seat car. She probably in her mind thinks it's, like, so hot. Right. They're probably like making it's out like in when, between bites. Of it's like when, like, on um, could go with the Kardashians, her and Kris Jenner like go grocery shopping and they make a huge deal out yes. of it. Yes. But they're just grocery shopping. Mm-hmm. And the rest of us, like, we do that every Sunday and it ain't that fun. But <laughs> like for them, it was an experience because they don't get to do those True. things. So maybe she doesn't get to go to the taco place. Maybe they want to have a normal night. But even for normal people, that's still imagine just like you're sitting in the back of your car and like you're eating. The tacos back there like you can't even like go into the restaurant because you're too famous i know That's also crazy. like the rumors have been swirling already what's the point of keeping it secret like yeah just like, i guess they're inside. trying to be low-key but every celebrity relationship it always starts off with like they're trying to keep it low-key and then a month later they have like, each other's faces <laughs> tattooed on themselves and then they're engaged and they're having children and, like a week later uh-huh. they break up and it's it's just the same. It's a tale as old as time. So she should have a new husband by the summer. I was also thinking about it. Okay, so you know when you first like a boy and you like get like goosebumps and, or not goosebumps, but, like like butterflies because you're like wondering like does he feel the same way about me? And is he going to text me back? And is he thinking about me right now? And all that stuff. Yeah. Like does that happen to Kylie? Like is she sitting at home right now in her mansion like wondering like, does he like me? Like does mm. she get those sort of thoughts? Because like she's so... Famous, I feel like. I feel like yes, because I feel so? like I feel like Timothy got bitches on speed dial too. Yeah, like they both have bitches on decks. Yeah. Maybe they like maybe they cancel each other out. Yeah, I feel like they're both. I I feel like celebrities definitely play hard to get. I just it's it's sometimes it's weird to think of them as being humans too. I guess if she dated a regular guy, she wouldn't feel that way. But because he's Perhaps, also famous, yeah. they're on the same level where you'd still have those regular human thoughts. 
I okay. I don't understand the hype for Timothy. Like, he's an actor, yeah, right? Yeah. And, but people are obsessed, obsessed with how he looks, they which think is he's fine. like the hottest person ever. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. But my my good friend Allie is obsessed with him, and so I texted her and I and I asked. I said, "How do you feel about your boy Timmy dating Kylie Jenner?" And she was like, "He's too good for her." How do they get along? I can't imagine the interactions. And then she goes, he's daddy, not stepdaddy. And I was like, ugh. <laughs> I, mean, I don't, like, yeah, he doesn't really necessarily do it for me either. But, but it, you get the stepdaddy thing I do get, kids. Yes. Yeah. I just can't. I can't. I don't, I don't know. I don't get the obsession. But I think they're but good for him. He's just one of those guys. Everyone's just obsessed with. He's like the Emily Ratajkowski. Everyone just loves them. Even if, like, I don't know. You know? Yeah. I mean, whatever. Okay, moving on to another couple in Hollywood that was caught kissing at Coachella. And in the the plot twist is that they're broken up. Okay. So good old Sean Mendez and Camila Cabello. Oh, Shawnee Mendes. Do you remember why they broke up? I always thought it because he was gay. But like I I, <laughs> I do suspect that. I don't think that's why they broke up, but like No, but there was like all those speculations for so many years that they were dating. Yeah. It was for the hype because of the song was a senorita. Remember the song came out and they were dating. It was like a spark to flying. They started dating. Did they date before the song came out or did they date? They, they started dating, dating in 2019. What's the song called? Senorita. Senorita. Or what I remember when everyone was like, I love it. When What's his come. name? Maybe Sean. they made the song after they started dating. But regardless... They started dating um, and they were like the it couple, but there were mm. always so many rumors swirling around about how he was actually gay. They were like very good friends. Like she was his beard. I don't know enough about the situation to comment, but I guess members, like people who are very much like, yes, like I'm well connected in Hollywood. Like I hang out in the gay community and like it's very well known that he is gay. Like that is kind of, the way that people were talking about it. So it's it. not just like a speculation. It's like kind of confirmed. Like I don't, but like, I don't think it was ever actually confirmed. So there's also a level of like, are people just saying that? I don't, mm. I don't know. But it always goes back to the fact that like behind every rumor, like, is there a small shred of truth? Because you, you people, aren't, people aren't like walking around saying that they think Justin Bieber is gay. Maybe they are. I don't know. But like, I feel like you don't hear that. Mm -hmm. You don't hear people saying that Leonardo DiCaprio is gay. So why was everyone saying this about Sean Mendes and like making such a bold claim that it wasn't a real relationship? So I think people thought, all right, they're they're together right now to like hype up the like the album and to like get all this publicity. It's a publicity stunt. And then they're gonna break up. But then they end up like low-key dating for kind of a long time. Like three years? Yeah. Maybe two or three years. They started dating in 2019 and they broke up in 2021. So this smooch comes one year after they called it quits, but they both dated other people in between this, them breaking up and this kiss. Like right. he was, you know, known to be with Sabrina Carpenter and then some chiropractor, Jocelyn Miranda. Do you know who that name is? Do you know who she is? I don't think so. Well, uh, the fact that she's a chiropractor, I don't know why that's, that's no knowledge. I guess that's cool. <laughs> but whatever. So he was known to be with those two girls in the past year and a half, whatever. And then Camila dated some entrepreneur, Austin Kevich. Hmm. So I feel like if he was gay, he would have took that, that time off. Yeah. I don't, I explore. feel like it's probably not true then. Or yeah. people are maybe just jealous. I don't know what, I just remember there being this time period where people were so obsessed with him. They were so like, it was almost like all anyone could talk about was like, oh yeah, he's obviously gay. He's obviously gay. Everyone was saying that. So if it's not true, then I, like, I guess that's kind of, I don't know why someone would make that up, but yeah, um, they end up dating for kind of a low key long time. So I think people stopped like speculating that because they're like, it's been like, imagine keeping it like up a, like a rue up for three years. Like, it'd be one thing if it was a six month relationship and then it's like, all right, right. We've, we've created enough buzz. Now we can go to our separate ways, but they stayed together for so long that People kind of stopped talking about it. Um, but there was also this one, I don't know if it was either he won an award or she won an award, one of the two. Mm -hmm. And like the uh, the significant other, like the other one like ran up and they like embraced each other. But it was not romantic. Like there was no kiss. Oh. It was very much like friendly, like a friendly hug. So I think a lot oh, of people were God. like, oh, this is a fake relationship. But again, three years. Like I feel like it'd be hard to keep up with a fake relationship for three years. So it is interesting. Did you see the kiss? Like did it seem... 
Did it seem like a lover's kiss or like a I drunk only, kiss? I only saw saw like a stock photo of it. Oh. I didn't I didn't see a video or anything. But a source said that they have remained friends with a lot of love and history between them, but they aren't dating again, despite speculations that this is the beginning of a new romance. Um, I guess they stayed in touch and decided to meet up at Coachella since they were both going. I feel like that's not just like something you do though. Like you don't just like, okay, yeah, like you keep in touch with your ex here and there, but like to make plans with your ex to meet up, that's weird. It's weird. You don't just do that. I feel like this is a prime example of why you can't be friends with your ex because then you make out with them at Coachella. 